on Tinder. I know that's not how you're supposed to meet your significant other, but that's what happened. So, you know, she showed up, we, we fucked, and then we kept fucking, and then next thing you know, all the shit was at my house. I, I don't know. Just the way it worked out. Um, today's been a weird day. I know some of you guys were with me on the Paddle Boat show earlier. Uh, for you guys who have no idea what I'm talking about, a bunch of us all went to the shore earlier, and they got us on paddle boats, and sailed us out to the water, and had us tell jokes with a big megaphone. That was the weirdest. Like, I've been at Midnight Game release just doing comedy. I've been at a show where even the host didn't show up to the show. Like, I've been in some weird-ass shows. That one was the weirdest. And, of course, I want my knees desperately trying to hang on to this thing. And then what do I hear? Is everybody start going, stand up! Stand up! And then all of a sudden, the crowd starts cheering, go ninja, go ninja, go! And I'm like, what the hell are you doing? I mean, do I look like a ninja? Okay, maybe I do look like a ninja turtle, but... <laughs> so, I stood up, I got one leg up, and then I got the other leg up, and I slowly got my way to my feet, and I was like, yes, I did it! And I put the freaking oar down, and I was like, you shall not pass, doing my horrible Gandalf impression, and then I fell right the fuck over into the water. <laughs> it was fucking... Then I just stayed in the water, but my one... Oh, sh- shut up, you. <laughs> my, my one regret... From the whole show, though, is that when I popped back out of the water, I didn't just go with the Ninja Turtle thing, grab onto the paddleboard and go, I said it once, and I'll say it again, I love being a turtle. Uh, that's my one regret from the show earlier. Uh, but otherwise it went okay. Uh, I was supposed to do PG humor, but I couldn't stop myself from swearing, just getting thrown in the water kind of threw me off my shit. Uh, also, I was really high. Not as high as I am right now, but I was... Definitely really, really fucking high. What, everybody in the room high and nice, good and stoned? <laughs> Isn't it a great time to be living and smoking marijuana? Like, we got all kinds of concentrates. Like, if I was to go back ten years ago and tell myself, hey, you're going to be smoking wax and electric joints in about ten years, I would have been like, fuck you. Give me my merch. I got to pick the seeds out of it. Uh, <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean. Yeah, that brick weed. Yeah, the kids nowadays will never know about the brick. I mean, I remember 1998. Some of you probably have, I think you know exactly where I'm going with this. Back in 1998, we were all watching the news, and they were like, big truck full of marijuana gets stopped at the border. And we were like, boy, that's going to suck for whoever that's going to. Anybody got some weed? No? No? Yeah, that was our fucking truck, goddammit. No weed all summer long. 1998 fucking sucked. Uh, ice storm, flood, no weed. Fuck you, 1998. Um, so glad 2019's going so much better. Now if I want weed, I have like 18 different stores I can walk to. And I can get a cone at each. Hell, half of them all have to do is say, I found you on Weed Maps and they'll give me shit for free. Uh, <laughs> Welcome to the marijuana generation. Weed, weed, the magical drug. The more you smoke it, the more you... Um, uh, what was I talking about again? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, I've also had pizza every day of my life since I was eight years old, like we were talking about earlier. I'm the living embodiment of Pizza the Hut. <laughs> well, you figure everything you eat becomes part of your body, so I've had nothing but pizza and Pepsi for most of my life. I'm literally the living embodiment of Pizza the Hut. Except for some chicken nuggets and french fries in my tits. Uh, but I am actually trying to be healthier. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm drinking more water, um, I'm at, which is scaring a lot of friends of mine. Uh, like I'm doing a lot more exercising. I'm walking like five to seven kilometers a day. Yeah. Now, I know some of you are like, why the hell is he measuring in kilometers? This is America, goddammit. Well, there's a simple reason for that, because that's how Pokemon Go measures. Um, that's the easiest way for me to keep track. I'm hatching eggs like a motherfucker. Master trainer. Uh, <laughs> I've also been working on this Jamaican breathing technique I found out about. What you do is you uh, you um, you roll the big fatty and you hit that shit real deep. And then you just hold that breath in and then you let it out. And um, I don't think it's making me healthier, but I feel great. I feel fucking fantastic. Uh, I did it plenty before we started the show tonight. Um, now, some of you seem like you're healthy. To the people of you, anyone here consider themselves healthy? No. no, no one ever. I can see like the the most 
sculptured person ever, and they're like, no, man, no, I'm fucking, I'm fat as fuck. No, I'm fat as fuck. You're skinny. Uh But I've been drinking a lot more water instead of soda lately. Is it normal to sweat more often when you drink more water? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Is it supposed to look like pepperoni grease? No. (coughs) Shit. I knew it. All right, I'm going to end it there. Thank you so much. I am Joe Ellis. Let's bring back my co-host. Yeah. Joe Ellis looks like a water balloon filled with gravy without his shirt on. All right, I won't like that. All right, fair enough. That's right. Joe Ellis, how unhealthy are you? So when's the last time you went to a doctor? Um, a couple months ago. And what did the doctor say? doctor said that I am cosmetically overweight, but overall within healthy parameters. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. I so obviously you went to Dr. So Pepper, uh, who's not a real doctor. Um, yeah, well, Main Health. I mean, look at look at the two guys from Maine on Main Healthcare. It's fucking Uncle Ruckus from the fucking Boondocks and fucking Jabba the Pizza the Hut. Uh, yeah. Pizza the Hut. All right, Pizza the Hut. You ready for our next comedian? Please get up for you. You know this guy. You know this guy. Oh yeah. Right. Uh, Mike Allen and everybody. It's Mike Allen. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mike Allen and everybody. Let him know. Mike Allen and talks like every person that promotes midget wrestling. You know? Yeah, these little guys, they're gonna fuck around in the, in the ring and shit like that. $15. All right, no one like that either. All right, I'm bombing like a motherfucker. All right. Please give it up for our next comedian. Oh, it's Kevin Knightley, everybody. Kevin Knightley. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin Knightley, everybody. Oh, no. <laughs> Kevin Knightley looks like a. All right, hold on. All right, I wrote it at the table. Wait, Kevin, the table. what? Oh, thanks, you too. Oh, dude, I didn't know you were still there. Yeah. All right, man. Drive <laughs> <laughs> safe. Kevin Knightley looks like if all the kids from the Sandlot were one person. <laughs> yeah, no one like that. God damn. All right. Please give it up for B Rad, everybody. B Rad. <laughs> Oh, I'm just interviewing. Yeah, oh, just, fuck. Yeah, come, come, All right, B-Rad, how many women have you had uh, relations with? 12. All right. Well, oh, shit. Yeah, I don't believe that either. Uh, how many of them have been with uh, protection? Uh, five. All right. <laughs> wow. So you've had unprotected uh, sex with seven people? No. I, I'm not, I feel like if you have unprotected sex, sex with someone, you'd give them a gluten allergy. <laughs> I feel like when your dick comes out, uh, you know those little like plastic things they put on uh, on top of pizzas so the boxes can cave in? Yeah. She's going to take that off first, and then your penis is there. Is that correct? Probably. Probably. Are you circumcised or uncircumcised? I don't look at that shit. You have no idea. <laughs> Do you know if you're circumcised or uncircumcised? Might. All right. All right. Yeah, all right. What is the definition all right. of circumcised? What is the definition of circumcised? No. Oval. No. <laughs> Too high. Too high. Too high for this. This is insane. This is insane. Uh, uh, I feel like I'm looking at the sun right now. That's how fucked up this is fucking up. Oh, all right, no. All right, hold on. All right. Okay. All right, let's back it up. Let's back it up. Let's back it up. Let's back it up. So, circumcision, it means... Is, Not a Jew! Not a Jew. Doesn't know circumcision. Is your penis cut or uncut? Under. I don't know. All right, I can't. All right, all right. We, you know what? This set is about figuring out if his dick has a foreskin or not. It's gonna be awesome. We're gonna do deductive reasoning uh, right now. We're gonna use our Wait, sleuthing skills. Do you know what a foreskin is? A runny dick. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right. We're learning. All right, guys. Guys, all right. We're getting there. So, when you look at your penis, is there a skin on top? Does your penis look it's, look like it's wearing a turtleneck? Or does your penis look like a German uh, helmet? Shepherd. <laughs> what? What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> your dick looks like a German shepherd. 
<laughs> well, <laughs> she being shaved. <laughs> what the fuck? I feel like I'm asking questions to a brick wall right now. Like I don't understand what's going on. It's not a brick wall. <laughs> not a brick wall, but uh, it's kind of like, kind of like a jelly wall. How many are helmet or anteater? Yeah. It's like, oh yeah! yeah. Crash your back. Helmet or anteater? <laughs> helmet. Oh, alright, alright. There we all go. Right, right. Say thank you very much. Alright. Well, right. <laughs> I, I, I dress like that? I kind of doubt it. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. He, he looks like every person that shoots up a Walmart, so yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's, that happened today, didn't it? Good God! Wait, what? Also, uh, B Red looks like Keith on LSD. Yeah, it's like if you, yeah. All right, so B Red, uh, what's your uh, favorite comedy memory? Um, I don't know. You don't know. All right. Well, uh, what is your favorite memory in your entire life? Mm, shit. Why are you crying out of one of your eyes right now at me? Why are you crying? In the arms of an angel. Do, do, do. Oh, you're crying even more. Stop crying for real. It's fucking me up, dude. Holy fuck. Dude, this is the weirdest. Sh- oh, thankfully, I'm not going to remember any of this, but good God. Don't film this, Angela. Are right, you crying? You don't know what's going on. This is fucked up. All right. What's your favorite band? Um, Rob Zombie. I was gonna say Kid Rock, but close. Okay. What is your favorite sexual position? Um, doggy. Oh, okay. Maybe let's go. We'll, let's go with the hangy pangy questions. How you've been in a threesome, haven't you? Yeah. Male, uh, male or fe- male and female or female and female. Male, male, female. <laughs> male, male, female. All right, all right, fair enough. That sounds like a fucking post office game, but fair enough. Um, and how did that threesome go? Um, lost my boner. You lost your boner in the threesome. No, McWeeds. Oh, your buddy lost his boner, but you were rock hard. Yeah. Okay. Well, and how was the lady? Oh, uh, um, big titted. Uh, not what I was asking, but uh, fair enough. Uh, did you did you or McWeed satisfy the lady? Me. Oh, you did. You did the you did the manly thing. She was taken care of. Oh, um, both of us. Sometimes I do shit, and then, like, in the back of my brain, like, there's just something in the back of my brain that just, like, whispers, time is short, stop fucking around, Ian. <laughs> I feel like that's where I'm at right now in my life. Really. I'm my drinking time, let's go! <laughs> B-Rad, one last question. If you could sleep with any celebrity, who would it be? Live this Saturday night! Chris Farley. <laughs> uh, dude, I, don't even, I would watch you fuck Chris Farley. I would if it was a pay per view for fifty nine ninety nine. I would pay for that. I would pay, dude. I would watch you fuck Chris Farley's corpse now, bro. Right now, I would do that. All right, be ready. Give her be ready, everybody. That was fucking too much. Sorry, everybody. All right, next comedian. Where the fuck is that list? I had the list.